Okay, so this is a quick tutorial on how to use the Dayforce app, which is our only method of recording time. We don't use any type of paper uh, form, so if your agency asks you by any chance to do any paper, please remind them that everything is sent electronically to them. A lot of our travelers choose to actually do screenshots of their app with their time on it, so you're welcome to do that. Um, but again, we don't sign or authorize any type of paper. So I'm in the app. I just um, signed in. You'll get a username and password once you arrive your username will always be your first name dot your last name at midlandhealth.org so here i am and um, i have my wi-fi and my location services enabled it's showing that i'm within the um, area the geofence basically that it accepts that i'm here so be mindful that you can't clock in in the parking lot or even as you're walking into the building you definitely need to be within the building so i'm going to go ahead and punch in and so you see it's success, I punched in. I always tell my travelers, pause for a second before you start your shift. Did you actually see that it was successful? Some people just click punch in and start working and realize later on that they didn't even punch in. So the next thing you need to do after you punch in is click on shift options. And I need you to do something called a labor metric transfer. This is so that I know where you worked because even though I assign you to a particular unit, you may be floated and so that I know where to charge your time. So in this situation, I know that my labor metric transfer typically does not work. It's just based on your cell phone carrier. I have Verizon for whatever reason, it doesn't like it, but uh, I knew that was going to happen. Department override and it says it was an error, which is fine. If you didn't get an error, however, this is where you would type in medical, oncology, ortho, whatever unit you worked, and a number would come up next to it. Those numbers are also on the back of your badge buddy that we give you, but you would just select that unit and and then click save but since I can't do that I'm going to go back click cancel so I'm in my shift but I did not successfully do a labor metric transfer so I'm not done yet I have to go to more and then timesheet and if you'll see here is my timesheet so I need to go ahead and scroll down where you see it says employee comment I would type in medical and really that's all I need from you I just need to know what unit you worked and one other thing you do not punch in and out for lunch. The system automatically deducts 30 minutes. The only time I need you to enter a comment is if you did not take a lunch or if you took a short lunch so that I can give you back your time. But again, do not clock in and out for lunch. That is not necessary. The system automatically deducts that for you. So in this example, if I worked medical and I did not take a lunch, I would put medical, no lunch, and really that's it. I don't need anything else from you otherwise. Um, I can hit um, done and save and you'll see that um, my message basically saved there. So I'm in. Um, the other thing that you need to do every weekend, I remind all of our travelers in the GroupMe app that you need to authorize every single shift. You have to authorize every shift and I do as well. So when you click here, you'll see under shift details, the date and then the authorize button. So I had already authorized that shift. Uh, I just unauthorized it, which you can do. You can remove the authorization if you realize, oh wait, it's not correct. I need you to fix something. But that blue, um, coloring indicates that you've authorized your shift and so basically that tells me that you have looked you made sure that you had a valid unit and that you had a valid punch in and punch out time that makes me feel better about then authorizing your shift because i know that you've already looked at it you've made sure that you had an in and out time and a unit um, so when i do text you over the weekend and it might be seven in the morning it might be 10 o'clock at night um, it's really just based on <clears throat> me missing some key information from you so please 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 make sure that you do this within the app. Um, it's best not to text me. I get 100 texts a day probably between our 50 plus travelers. So if you have a comment with regards to your shifts, please just enter it here. It can be, you know, floated to a different unit, worked medical, worked ortho, no lunch, 15 minute lunch, clocked in late, forgot to punch in. Whatever comment you need to tell me with regards to day force and your timesheet is best served here versus a text message to me. And that's pretty much it in terms of your Dayforce app.